Hello, dear viewers. Today, to our series, Meaning of Life, and we have a really great topic today, which is the feminine principle, which in the current time is more and more integrated into our systems. We lived on the male principle for many, many years with performance and were separated. Now the art in this new time is to connect the male and the female with each other. And I am talking about this with my guest today, Elizabeth Festerman. She came here specially. She is a sound code therapist and works with frequencies, and I'm very happy about it. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Karina. This really is my favorite topic to take another look at the feminine principle and on which levels it is now integrated everywhere, whether it is in us, women, or in men, or in companies. So that's going to happen now. It's spreading everywhere. And how would you define the female principle right now? What does that mean? There is no one sentence answer to that. It's something very complex. And when you see it in its original form, then the feminine principle has the receiving, perceiving, and from the perceiving into going into intuition and going out of the intuition. The masculine is simply that which then implements. The male principle, without it, it wouldn't work. It is what is purposeful, aligned, can implement the things that have been perceived. The problem we have today is that the masculine principle acted for centuries to millennia all alone, and the feminine has faded into the background. There may be various reasons for that. I believe a very important reason is that the feminine principle as the one giving birth, creating new life, simply scares the male principle a little. And that, of course, it was wonderful. When we went into this time of separation, then only to go with the masculine principle and to withdraw this feminine principle completely. And then this withdrawal has become so strong that we have completely forgotten what it actually is about, what it is actually is. And if today we have more and more women in jobs that were previously male-dominated, then that's a wonderful thing. But that doesn't really help us to understand this female original principle. Because most of the time, women then become better men. They then unconsciously use their ability, their intuitive ability, to be even more targeted than the man. What can a woman or the feminine original principle add to what has been masculine in the world? That is the fundamental question here. And my feeling, my perception, is that there are different levels. For once there is the innocent in the feminine, the girl, this innocence that is ready to open up to everything. By the way, we have that very strong. It only occurs to me now, in the USA, where people have such an openness. I've worked a lot in the USA. And this trial and error principle, let's just try it out. That sounds great, just do it. That's part of that. There is such joy in it. There's such lightness in it. There is such innocence. And this innocence can be preserved if it is not raped in whatever way. The worst would be by a man really physically raped. But there are so many different levels. 
Yes, well, we have that with this school system that actually tells you already you are not enough. You have to work. So there we already get these imposed principles that take us away from it. Exactly. And if that is not disturbed, but when it can begin to unfold, then a creative elementary force arises. And this creative elementary force, that's why I'm wearing red today, that is this woman in full bloom, so to speak, this feminine that simply perceives, absorbs, moves, implements, and then pronounces. What do women mostly do? <laughs> <laughs> it's about te taking inward first. I'm not necessarily a Bible fan who keeps walking around with quotes from the Bible, but this is one of the nicest I know. And Mary took all these words and moved them in her heart. That was when the shepherds were with baby Jesus and simply shared with her what they were experiencing when they look at baby Jesus. She perceived it all, absorbed it, moved it, and with that she developed an understanding for what she gave birth to. Or this original principle of Mary as, as they say, mother of God. So basically the female goddess, who looks inward during pregnancy and perceives what is growing in her. There are a few paintings and sculptures of Madonnas who are pregnant. And there you almost always have it, always this inwardly turned, perceiving, sentient, moving, suspecting, what then leads to that she understands what wants to be created anew. And when she understands that more and more, when from these various premonitions and perceptions something is formed, then she becomes a creator. Then she can give birth to the child. Not only the human child, but also this creative power from which something new is born. How can I be creative if I do not perceive inwardly first? And to take this time without feeling, like I'm lazy now. No, I'll sit down and I'll move that first. Well, let's say we have a conference of men and women in a company it's about developing a new product. The men present their idea, the women present their idea. Then you retreat and move that inwardly. Where do you still have something like that? But that's the point, perceiving. Because then you would get, okay, maybe you could add that. You could leave this out. That is not really part of it. When I develop something new, I am often creative because I work with the sound codes and have to keep this field. It always goes through different phases before it goes out. There comes an idea, then I start putting it together. Then I let that work. It's like an inner saucepan. Then it can work and then, oh no, that's not really part of it. Oh yes, that could actually be added. Then it would be well-rounded. Okay, how is it now? Well, something's not quite right. Let's leave it for a bit. And then when it's well-rounded, then it can be spoken. Or then it can go out into the world. And if we then bring a new product onto the market, let's stick to the topic. Then it is totally complete. Then we took it into account. A woman takes into account the feminine principle, which is connected to the earth. Is this in accordance with Mother Earth? 
Oder, Or does it lead to resources being wasted? Does it cause the earth to be polluted? Does it lead to the earth being exploited? How about the fauna? How can it be included? What about the flora? How can it be included? How can I design the product in such a way that it doesn't harm anyone, can only develop its usefulness? That would be the feminine. The feminine is the mother. This is the third stage. The woman in full bloom becomes the mother. And she protects and she just starts to consider and perceive all of this. And she is also able to perceive all of this. This also has to be possible first, and that just takes space and time. Then all of this is integrated, and then a product is created in cooperation. The woman is a mother, she has several children, she wants them to be in harmony with one another. She's a family she wants to keep together. It's not about separation, it's about connecting. And now beyond that, this principle is not only found in women, it is the same in men. The man as a male, being in the male body, has the task of going out and implementing it more than the woman. That's why he's got more muscles, that's why he has more physical strength. That is why he is often more focused. Not always, but it can be. But just like the woman, he has the premonition. And he can, if things go well with his wife or with the women on his team, discuss his premonitions. And then the woman can add that. And the woman can then also say, go into her male part and say, well, but I still miss that in the implementation. And then we have two complete forces meeting each other that can merge without getting lost, because they are both complete. This is also a nice transition to a new partnership situation. Yes, it is. Every person should first of all have the opportunity, and if possible, implement it when they have grown into it to unite the feminine and masculine in themselves. And with the great old philosophers, for example, Christian Rosenkreutz, also this symbol of the so-called alchemical wedding. So the wedding that arises from alchemy, the encounter of the female and male, the encounter of dark and light. The dark also has its place. There would be no light in the room if the room weren't initially dark. There would be no darkness if it weren't for the light. So it depends on each other and it needs each other. And it wants to be brought together and united. In the last few years, it was always this extreme issue. You need a partner. You should be married. That was the issue for many generations. Without a man, you are worthless as a woman. You weren't really noticed. Or even despised in society in the worst case. Mm -hmm. So this extreme need to have to live from partnerships has now persisted. And we notice now in this time of transformation that many, I don't know whether this is true now, but partnerships also diverge. And some say, OK, I'll first come into my being. I'll be alone with myself. Mm. Have you seen these processes or does that also work together in a partnership? That also works in a partnership. It's not that easy because then you have to leave each other alone. And most partnerships still emerged from a need. The consumer community, I just want this, I need something from others that I don't have myself. And then you have such a form, and then such a form is connected to it. And then you have a whole. But when you merge, you have two round balls. 
Kugeln, mm -hmm. die dann which then merge with each other, and then something Neues, new, great, Neues. emerges from it. Ich I'm not an expert on partnership, definitely not. But I have a sense of where it can go. And that's just getting balanced in myself. Just remembering I can stand my ground as my man and my woman. And if that's the case, then it goes without saying dann ist es auch, auch ganz selbstverständlich so, dass ich auch nur that I can Menschen only attract a person so who is the same. Not long ago, I was briefly connected to someone who wasn't like that yet. And that went wrong very quickly. That just doesn't work. It becomes clear relatively quick. That is very clear. Because I have no need at all anymore. And of course, he's looking for my need because then he'll have me. And so far, it was so that I was looking for his neediness. And with that, I had him. And then there was this codependency, but in a bad sense. The future is still covered with a veil for me. My feeling is that there will be a merging. But this absoluteness marriage demand, as we had it up to now, I have the impression that it is loosening and that we will be more in a communal cooperation where there are these two people, but where these two people are also open on all sides. So I'm not talking about sex, group sex or anything. That's not what I mean. At the moment I unite with someone sexually, in my opinion, what happens is that I don't just exchange fluids, but that I can connect energetically in a way that is very unique. And I don't think it's very healthy if I do this with other people all the time. So when I feel into this, I think what we have is this, as you described it so beautifully before, the trees that are so connected via the meridians that we feel this connection with such intensity in this partnership that can let the other go. But in a bond, you know what I mean? He does what he wants and you do what you want. And everyone lives their life. And you get back together, but you have always been connected. And then there are always such movements. I have a friend who lives such a partnership. And I have never seen so much respect, care and love between two people as between these two people. And there were two situations where they actually really broke up. One time he couldn't go along with something where she had the feeling that she had to, she had to go that way. And it took about half a year and then he said, I now understand that it's completely different. I didn't really see it that way. But they really broke up and they both cried their eyes out. They noticed that it doesn't work that way. And they were still on friendly terms, but finished, no longer partners. And then at some point, a realization grew in him. Certainly in her too. I don't know exactly what now. And lo and behold, suddenly they were able to do whatever it was all about together again. And the other time, she went to the USA for half a year because she had something to study there. And then they said, we don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm staying in the US. I can't tell at all. You don't know what will happen when I'm gone. We are now consciously letting the other one go. And so they did. Again, cried their eyes out. But then it was very clear. She was supposed to be in the year in the USA for half a year to study, but three months were enough. Then she'd studied everything she needed, came back, and they were one again. And this, is the, and this freedom can only be given if one is balanced in oneself. And even if you are balanced in yourself, it can happen. You get to know the ideal partner, you think. 
You connect with them and give yourself up completely. And then that no longer works. Then you can no longer let the other one go and the other one can no longer, longer let you go either. So I guess that's the future partnership situation. The concern I have is that we really start to look again what is specifically feminine because we have lost it. It's been forgotten. And just the day before yesterday, I had this situation with Gretchen. Faust. Faust, Gretchen, and how Gretchen then becomes pregnant. That this is this innocent girl who simply surrenders to the man, and the man is not responsible in this case, that he is dealing with an innocent being who doesn't even know what is happening to him. He has the experience, and in that case at least, and then denies responsibility for it. That's how it used to be in our society. How easy it would have been to solve such a situation, even if the man says, OK, I slept with her once, but I noticed that it doesn't fit. If there was a bigger community, such a child could easily be born and raised in a community of men and women. Aunts and uncles and such, it wouldn't have been an issue at all. But no. This innocent girl is left completely alone with something she can't handle. And then she goes crazy about it. But thank God, not crazy enough not to say that I'm not in league with the devil. That's how Faust ends. I'm not going back to you while you are with this companion. It scares me. And then at the end of Faust, it is said she is condemned. No, she is saved. Because then, with this feminine wisdom, that she still carried within herself, although everything around her and within herself had broken, she still had that spark. No, that doesn't feel right. I can't and won't go along with it. And that made healing possible. And we can rediscover that. And then we will rediscover this creative power. And it is, of course, just as much in men as in women. Maybe it has a different face sometimes. And can also focus on other things. Stupid example, but nice example. Men love cars. There are women who love cars too. But men especially like them. So a man can invent a fancy new car. And a woman might invent a wonderful piece of furniture to sit on. Complimenting each other. So easy. Exactly. But that, this feminine creativity, that is the creative power that arises from this heart intelligence, from what I call the warmed light, the love-warmed light, what arises from it, you mentioned Silke Schaefer earlier. She would say the Uranus quality. And a light goes on. That's how it is. Interesting. And then maybe another feminine element can join in. And suddenly we have a new creation. Great. A great final word. Thank you very much, dear Elizabeth. Then we hope that all women and all men will all come into our being alone and into the creative power, become creative, create our new world. We can do it. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. So you heard it according to the motto. Come completely into the creative power. Rediscover the inner spark. The feminine principle can now be lived, found and tried out. Good luck with it and thank you for watching today. All the best. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.